today and we're going to be on the warm side of this boundary so we get back into the 80s for our friends headed to South Bend today. We know Notre Dame is going to be hosting Stanford for a 330 kickoff. It will be a little cooler there on the northern side of that boundary. So 69 at kickoff during the 3 o'clock hour up in South Bend and then eventually only looking at highs in the low 70s later today across the northern tier of the state. So that's a big time difference compared to the warm side of that system where most of us will be in the low 80s for highs this afternoon. Now we will see some increased clouds and again it will be windy at times today. We could see 25 mile per hour wind gusts, but it's a southwesterly wind gust today. So that's why we are again looking at temperatures above average. Now as we go through the overnight, we will still be sitting in the warm sector of this weather system, so not going to be quite as cool overnight. We're looking at lows near 63 here in Indy. 58 for the overnight low up in Kokomo, which is about where we're going to be for our high come Monday. Tomorrow will be that transitional day. We do see lots of dry time, even some sunshine through your Sunday afternoon, but the wind direction will start to change as that front continues to move through the state with a northwesterly wind flow. Still going to be warm for this time of year tomorrow, but not quite as warm as today. 75 the high tomorrow afternoon in Indy, 73 up in Lafayette, still a little warmer in the upper 70s to areas south. Eventually that much cooler air will take over. We'll fast forward through about seven o'clock Sunday evening. This is as we transition to that cooler air mass. It could spark a few stray showers, especially across the north and northeastern tiers of the state. Then eventually overnight clouds will continue to take over as that cooler air settles in. By Monday morning, we've got lows in the 40s. And then as that cooler air continues to dominate Monday afternoon, we are only looking at highs that will likely be in the 50s. And we're going to stay that way. We're going to stay well below average through the first part of next week when it comes to both high and low temperatures. 56 will be the forecast high on Tuesday. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we're looking at overnight lows that could potentially, even here in the Indy Metro, be where we would see frost possible. 37, your low temperature Wednesday, 36 as we get into Thursday morning. Keep in mind, we're about at that point in the season where this is going to become more common with the average time we see a uh, temperature dropping to 36 or below here in the Indy Metro being October 17th. So we're getting pretty close to that. The first time we see widespread frost, which would be a temperature of 32 or below October 26th.